Hi everyone, welcome to Design Shorts. In today's video, I will show you how to quickly build static websites with the Astro frontend framework and deploy them for free on Netlify. This tutorial is for those with basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Figma components. I've created a simple one pager layout in Figma and we'll focus on two sections in this video. The section below the hero with the text and headline on the left and the doodle I sketch in Figma on the right side and the last section with the three columns. But first, let's understand what Astro is. Astro is a static page framework that generates static HTML pages. Its key advantage is the ability to create HTML components, allowing you to reuse elements and control them globally. Unlike traditional HTML and CSS, you can modify not just styling, but also the information architecture by changing component structure and layout. Astro also supports APIs for connecting external backend services. The big win with Astro is speed. It's significantly faster than server-side rendered platforms like WordPress. Now, where do we host our files? Enter Netlify. It's a modern web development platform that simplifies deployment. If your project is on GitHub or GitLab, you can import it with a single click and Netlify handles the rest, building and deploying your website. Back to our Figma mockup. Let's start with the first section, which has one row and two columns. Astro Files uses an Astro extension that structurally resembles regular HTML. At the top of each component file, you will find interface props, properties to control your component. Below, you also have constants for predefined property values if not specified. Below, you will see the HTML section tag, a standard HTML wrapper that is also screen reader friendly. And the class attribute will populate itself from the interface properties. Style tags allows you to input component styles. For simple components, local styles work. But as you can see, I also have a global SCSS file for more complex components. So consider external SCSS files and the SAS preprocessor that will compile your SCSS file to CSS format. In addition to the section component, I've designed a more intricate flex component that serves as a versatile wrapper for columns or rows with properties like direction for horizontal or vertical alignment or custom class names for adding custom classes and self-align for independent alignment adjustments. Let's take a look at the structure of the index page. Inside the index file, we have the base layout component. There you can find navigation, body, and the footer elements. Pay attention to the slot element. It's very similar to React's children element. Slot allows us to nest more elements like the sections being a child of the base layout facilitated through the slot. Now let's examine a section with two columns. As you can see, the first flex element has direction horizontal, which means that all the columns inside will be placed horizontally. Then I place two additional flex elements that will represent our columns. I will use the direction vertical in order to control the vertical alignment of its child elements. Back in Figma, I will copy and paste our heading and text elements. On the right side, you will spot the doodle I sketched in Figma. You can easily copy it as an SVG element. However, instead of pasting the SVG directly into our code, I will demonstrate how to create HTML components with Astro. In the components directory, I will create a new empty file, paste the SVG code, and save it as illustration.astro. And that's it! Our component is ready for use. Now let's go back to our index file. We need to import the component by adding an import statement above. Now let's revisit our flex component and insert the illustration tag to render our SVG file. Nice, and it worked, right? So you might wonder about the advantage of creating illustrations as components. Just imagine having reusable icons or assets that can be employed across your website or product. In the event of rebranding or updates, you won't need to re-upload files or rewrite HTML pages. However, 
we are not done yet. Let's center align the columns within the row component and adjust the text alignment to the left. We can adjust the align H property from center to start and probably would be good to clean up the code a little bit by removing unnecessary properties. Okay, let's head back to the browser and see the results. As you can see, it works as planned. Now we can move to the second section. We'll need two rows, and in the second row, we'll have three columns. So I'll quickly duplicate our section, and in the class name property, I will input purple 100. That's a class I already predefined to add this purplish background color. I will also apply a card class name to our flex elements. Okay, it worked. So now we have to define the gaps between rows and columns and add some extra styling so we can center the text. Now let's head back to our global CSS file. We will start by creating a simple CSS rule to center or right align text. Then we'll add the class name to our flex container. Previewing quickly, as you can see, everything works seamlessly. Now let's return to our file and add spacing between elements for the row component. I have already set up predefined styles for the row, so let's incorporate our flex gap style. And once again, let's view the rendered page in the browser. As you can see, everything matches our Figma design perfectly. Now the final step is deploying our site. Now you can go to Netlify app and sign up using your GitHub account. Inside the Netlify app dashboard, click on the Add New Site button. Then choose the Deploy with GitHub action. You will need to authorize Netlify in your GitHub settings. If you have a private repository, you can enable access from your GitHub account. I have already made a commit, so I can simply push the changes to GitHub. Return to the Netlify app dashboard to see the build process in action. Great news, we have received a successful build confirmation. Let's navigate to the URL to ensure our website has been correctly built and deployed. Perfect, you can see that creating and designing websites with the Astro framework is incredibly easy. What's more, Astro allows you to hydrate React components, adding even more functionality to your system. You can leverage open source component libraries like Material UI or Radix UI. That wraps up today's video. I hope you found the simple introduction to Astro and Netlify helpful. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments section below. And see you in the next episode.